Hello guys, I'm Pavlos from Thrace in Greece. I would like to welcome you all in the Slow Food Youth Network launching event tonight. It's amazing to see that the brand new dot is being born on the map of the Sven. Many of you we already know. We had a great time working together, discussing together, having fun, but also dreaming together. It's amazing to see that you guys went back and you brought many, many more people interested in discovering their food culture and mainstreaming our message for change and for better food in the world. Going to the Farming on Crisis uh, video blog, it all started from the work that uh, Sam did in the Netherlands and when I was in uh, Amsterdam for the Food Film Festival earlier this year, I had the idea that uh, we should create a similar work for the young farmers of Greece. Um, Greece is a country which has attracted a lot of political attention in the last month, in the last months and a lot of um, attention from the press. But unfortunately, the, most of the news that were being broadcasted out of Greece were sad news, were bad news, were uh, even news talking about lazy people, about uh, people that uh, don't know how to manage their money well and um, uh, corrupted politicians and so on. But the Greece I discovered through my journey throughout the country was a whole new different Greece. It was a Greece of hard work, of camaraderie, of solidarity, of collaboration, of innovation that the young people uh, are uh, putting forward uh, right now in my country in order to find ways and solutions out of the economic crisis. And it goes without surprise to see that there is a huge wave of uh, young people that want to go back and work with the land in the countryside. And uh, these are people that uh, they have uh, connection with the land of their uh, ancestors, um, sentimental connection, emotional connection. There are people that enjoy a very particular educational status. The young farmers of Greece are educated people. They talk one, two, three foreign languages and they have university degrees. And uh, they are trying to brand their products based on the myth and the memory that our country and our culture uh, brings with it, as you all know. And in my opinion, this creates a whole new landscape for entrepreneurship, sustainable rural development and innovation uh, in Greece right now. And uh, very soon we will be able to see positive benefits, positive results uh, of this effort and this is something that the whole of Europe will be able to capitalize as well uh, from the collective effort that is being taken from a young generation in crisis right now. So I'm particularly excited about the work that we did as the civil society, uh, the Slow Food Youth Network, that we tried to bridge uh, the food systems and the farming systems of different countries but also from different sectors that are involved into the food system. And um, in Farming on Crisis, I had the opportunity to speak with uh, small farmers, with large farmers, with organic farmers, conventional farmers, with guerrilla farmers in uh, urban gardens, but also the Minister of Food and Agriculture. And uh, this is a sort of discussion that has never happened before in Greece. And... Uh, Another point is that like, uh, we managed to get uh, uh, an award in Hollywood in a short doc documentary festival. So I think the work that uh, it's a great opportunity that uh, we can mainstream our message to uh, wider audiences. That's why I'm very optimistic that uh, the people that are occupying themselves with the production, education, uh, sustainable consumption and appreciation of good sustainable and quality food are the future. They are the immune system of our sick planet. Because nowadays we know what we have to do, we just need to do it. So I wish you all strength, all luck and lots of love from Greece. And I will be looking forward to hear your stories and your projects. And see you soon or later. Ciao.